A player's path to the NFL is never the same as another's. Some hear their name called on draft weekend, others don't. Overlooked for one reason or another, a feeling the Steelers have become familiar with this season. Travel all this way to not leave without this dub. You know what I'm saying? Let's make plays, bro. Give me news, let's talk it up. No miscommunications, they cannot rock with us. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it, fellas. DB's on D. One, two, three. DB. Feeling good, man. Another opportunity, man. Playing for new trade fans. Put on the show. Let's get win number eight. Let's go. But how you get here isn't significant. What's most important is what you can do in front of thousands of fans on a Sunday afternoon. Through all the roster changes this season, one thing has remained a constant on this Steelers team, and that is physical defense. Murray throwing again, he's in trouble, and down he goes! And that was Mark Barron coming up for the stack, his third of the year. Keeper after the fake. Murray's trapped, trying to run laterally on left. And Bud Dupree says, we're not turning this corner. He is dropped for a loss. So, Duck gets the call. That's Devlin Hodges starting his third game as a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Throws it to the left, and there's a good gainer to Jalen Samuels up the sideline. Gareth White, when he finds the crease, he explodes. Here's Benny Snell again. He's about a half yard shy of a first down. The give, and that is Snell diving for the first down. Needed two, got three. The ball is down. The kick is on its way. That kick by the Boz is good, and the Steelers draw first blood. Coach Mike Tomlin never cares where good ideas come from. He may have the same mentality when it comes to scoring points. Here's Johnson on the punt return. Deontay Johnson with blockers in front. Johnson into Arizona territory. Johnson down the sideline. He will go! 85 yards for Deontay Johnson. Every time he catches the ball, you hold your breath. And now he finally took it to the house. How about Bud Dupree flying in there again? Bud Dupree clubbed the heck out of DJ Humphreys, and then he just sacked Kyler Murray. And he snow. The ball came out. There's a big scramble for it, and the Cardinals seem to have it. Terrell Suggs with the recovery. On this drive, you could have hammered the nail into the coffin. Going to throw the bubble screen left. Running forward inside the 20, down to the 15, is Christian Kirk. He fakes it. He's trapped. He's down for a loss wow. by Minka Fitzpatrick. A loss of one. He steps forward. He dances. He runs around. He's sacked back at the 14-yard line by Vince Williams. So Vince was playing the spy. He set back and was waiting for him. He just attacked. It is up and good, and the Cardinals are on the board. Kyler Murray and the Cardinals were on the move once again and wouldn't settle for three points this time. A little quick pop to the right, and in space is Kenyon Drake coming down the sideline. Inside Pittsburgh territory, they found space with that quick pass. She fires for the goal line touchdown. Wide open underneath is the tight end play. And right now, the momentum has switched back to the Cardinals. You got to get some points on the board. The pass is complete. And it up over the 30-35 to James Washington. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to run. And he is whacking his way to the 50, to the 45, and steps out of bounds at the Arizona 47-yard line. Did you say he's quacking his way to the sideline? I did say that. I, I, that was pretty funny. The duck is back, throws the out pattern, and it's pulled in by Deontay Johnson. And that's a first down inside the 30. The kick is on its way, and Boz is money in the bank. Puts the Steelers on top on the last play of the second quarter. 
Cardinals came out of halftime using a little trickery to catch the Steelers off guard. Chase Edmonds, after the fake punt, got away from a Steelers tackler. That was Tyler Matakevich. When you are 3-8-1, and one, why not gamble? But it was Joe Hayden's turn to take a gamble of his own. Murray intercepted! Joe Hayden with his third INT of the year, and what a play it was! His third pick of the year, and the Steelers protect that three-point lead. For the second straight week, Duck Hodges would go up against a former first overall pick, and for the second straight week, he would do whatever he needed to do to win. The duck comes across midfield, enough for the first down, and he gets to the 49, gets a, the call, cuts it back to the left, slips a tackle, gets by a blocker inside the 40, and a bubble screen right. And the Cardinals are all over. Deontay Johnson, he turns the left end. 15, 10, 5, out of bounds at the two-yard line. Wow. He was dead to rights and got away. Duck throws to the end zone, touchdown. What a play. Duck hitting Deontay Johnson from three yards out perfectly. Fourth and three at the seven. He's coming to the near sideline. Throws it on the run. Intercepted. That is T.J. Watt with the end zone pick. He threw it right to T.J. Watt. I mean, what a play by T.J. The defense had been shutting the door on Kyler Murray all day, but the second he saw an opening, Murray took his shot. And it's a touchdown, and we have a ball game. This is the time. This is the time. Throws the out, and it's pulled in close to a first down, and he's going to counter pitch it, coming right to left. Deontay Johnson, first down and more. Wow, what a well-conceived and well-executed oh, play. Man. Runs out of the pocket, comes to the sideline, throws the ball. It's caught inside the 10-yard line by Deontay Johnson. What a play by Duck, and what a catch by the rookie from Toledo. Boz with a kick, it's up and splits the uprights, and the Steelers extend their lead. The narrative has been the same for weeks. When the game is on the line, the Steelers' defense will take what is theirs. He's hit, and he's dropped back behind the line of scrimmage, Cameron Hayward. It's a Intent. feeding frenzy. That's right, they smell blood in the water. It's like sharks. That's it. He's out of the pocket. He's gonna throw it on the run and the pass is broken up at the 36 yard line by Steve Nelson, still on his feet. He wants to throw it. He does under great duress and the pass is gonna be intercepted by Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden with his second pick of the game and that ends any Arizona hope. You knew you had to work hard. You knew Arizona was better than their record indicated. As you said, the defense working hand in glove. And if they can control the line of scrimmage like they did here, uh, they can be a force to be reckoned with.